Welcome to your medical intensive care and patient rotation. In this video, I will go through some expectations to keep in mind during this month. During your medical ICU rotation, rounds start at 8.30 a.m. and thus you should arrive in a timely manner in the morning between 6.30 and 6.45 a.m. and see all your patients and finish progress notes prior to rounds. You will be rounding every day with a fellow and a senior staff. On certain days, there will be morning ICU lectures from 8 to 8.30 a.m. Schedule will be posted on the Henry Ford Pulmonology webpage provided by your respective fellow or attending. Rounds must finish by 11 a.m. Thereafter, you are expected to follow up on patient care, which can include calling consults, family members, reading about presented medical conditions, and documentation. You will be assigned to work in one of the resident pods. Depending on the pod assignment, you will have a schedule with either 24 plus 4 admitting shift, every fourth day, or night float system where each resident will do approximately one week of nights. Your schedule will be provided prior to your rotation. If you're not on call, please make sure that all tasks are completed and important follow-up items are communicated prior to sign out at 4 p.m. Sign out involves a brief synopsis of the patient along with any important follow-up that is needed until the next day. Medical students will also be assigned to your team. As a valuable member of the team, it is important to keep them engaged through teaching and patient care. Some days you will have afternoon continuity clinic, at which point you will sign out your patients to your team members to follow up on patient care and required tasks. Communication with patient and family members will be of the utmost importance at all times. In addition to maintaining daily admission, progress and discharge documentation, with the help of your fellow, you will manage and coordinate care with nursing. With shared decision making in mind, you should counsel patients and family accordingly regarding lifestyle interventions and prevention methods in the context of the clinical condition. Our goal is that throughout the month, you will understand the relevant pathophysiology, diagnosis, and therapy of a variety of critical care diseases, encompassing acute respiratory failure, circulatory failure, and shock syndromes, and practice evidence-based medicine with the utilization of resources such as those listed on the curriculum. More details on supervision, learning objectives, and co-reading lists can be found under Inpatient Rotations tab on the Internal Medicine Residency website. I wish you the best of luck in your training and I hope you have a great month.